Approved Home Pros, connecting you to today's trends, easy upgrades, and the tips, advice, and answers you need for your home, featuring trusted local experts and San Diego's best home pros, guaranteed. Now, Approved Home Pros. Welcome to Approved Home Pros, San Diego's resource for all things home improvement. I'm Jordan Frazier. And I'm Sean Johnson. Sean, today again we have great experts on the show talking about all areas of the home and sharing their expertise with us because we need to know just as well as San Diego needs to know. What are, you, what are we digging into today? We're, we're digging into a variety of different things. Uh, I'm going to be talking with Scott Farrell from Black Mountain Plumbing about vacations and the way to prevent floods. And I can't wait to find out some of the tips he gives us. That has got to be the most unsettling thing I've oh. ever heard. To come home from a vacation, you're all rested, you're so excited, and you come home to a flood and to have to deal with that aftermath. These tips can really save you a whole bunch of oh, headaches. I, I can not imagine anything worse than opening the door and having water pour out onto you. That, Absolutely And there's not. just one, I think, little trick that can prevent it all. I like that. But if you do have a flood, hopefully it's well-treated water because we're also talking to Hague Quality Water about water filtration. And this demonstration is just going to be really incredible. How much money you're going to save in products once you have water filtration. With all this water, the show is going to go swimmingly. Uh, we're also going to be talking in our Ask an Expert today about price and when price can be a warning sign because sometimes a low price is not all it's cracked up to be. Sometimes what seems too good to be true is. Right, and there's some signs and some really distinct tips that our experts are going to point out about what you should keep an eye out for on that. But first, let's check in with Night Security for this week's Home Security Tip. This is Richard Mates from Night Security, and this is Safe at Home, some insights into home security. And a question I received from a gentleman in San Diego was, can my alarm system work when I have pets in the home and kids and changes of, in lifestyle of that nature? And absolutely, one of the advantages of meeting with a security professional is we're gonna sit down and ask those kind of questions and then design the alarm system so your pets can be in the house and the alarm on. We can set it up so the kids can come in at different hours with their own arming number and turn it off. Your housekeeper can come in with her own individual code, disarm the alarm, do her work, and be on her way. So your house can really function no matter what your lifestyle might be. Um, so please don't let that be a hindrance. And if you do have questions on this topic or any other, try to reach me please online or phone me. And when all else fails, be safe at home. Thank you. San Diego has notoriously hard water, but the good news is you don't have to live with it. So today I'm here with Bert from Hague Quality Water, and we're going to show the difference between treated water and, and our regular tap water here at the station and see how it affects how much product we need. So thanks for showing this to me today. Thanks, Jordan. This is a good illustration to show you the effects that hard water have on all your pipes, plumbing, and frictures. So in this uh, flask, we have some Hague Quality Water, high quality water. This, we have some raw tap water that we got right here at the studio. I'm just gonna put some drops of soap in here that is just plain, ordinary soap. No additives, chemicals, whiteners, brighteners, just plain, ordinary, biodegradable soap. Okay, so just as if I'm doing the dishes, or I'm in the shower, or right. I'm doing laundry, this is what this is gonna demonstrate. And this is gonna be like doing laundry. So each drop that I put in will represent a cup of soap, a box of soap, or a dollar's worth of soap, just as a comparison. Oh, I like the financial aspect. Let's see how much money I might save. Right, so we'll <laughs> put five drops. We'll do everything in duplicate. We'll put five drops in each flask. One, One. two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And now we're gonna do some laundry here. So we'll put the tight top on very tightly. Why don't you take this one? That's the high the quality water. water. I get the high quality water, thank you so Let's much. Let's see, it has to work harder. <laughs> and we wanna get the same amount of suds in each wash machine and see uh, how that works out. It looks like I switched those around for you, huh? Oh, you did, yeah. You just <laughs> wanted the high quality water. I see what's happening, but so look if, at the difference. So if you take a look at that, you can see we got a nice rich head of uh, suds here with just five cups, boxes, or dollars worth of soap. Right, that's what I expect to see when I'm doing laundry. Right, and so you can see the soap has disappeared. It's been drawn back into the water by the hard water rock and debris. Now, if we want to get the same amount of suds in this washing machine as this one, we have to add more soap, right? Right, so how much more soap do we think it's going to take? Well, let's try 20 drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, let's see if I can make the same amount of suds here. 
And this is equating to how much money you're going right. to save, and I still don't have the right. suds. So really, this treated water, the water filtration system from Haig, is actually going to end up paying for itself with all the savings that you're going to use in how much less soap. So just quickly tell me, how much less product should I be using once I have filtered water? The general rule of thumb is you can cut the amount of soap and cleaning products you use by 75% or more. Wow, thank you so much. Improve the quality of your water with a water filtration system today. It will pay for itself in just a matter of years. Call Hague Quality Water to get started at 619-202-5363. So I'm here at Rockler Woodworking and Hardware, one of my favorite places with one of my favorite people Mike Durlach. Mike, great to have you on the show. Thank you. Good to be here. So my father, he's recently retired, and we're trying to keep him busy. And we th I was thinking that uh, woodworking might be a great hobby for him. He's always been good with his hands. Mm -hmm. So what would you recommend that he start with? Where, what would you, what, you know, what's a good starting point? Well, a lot of times when somebody like that comes into the store and wants to get into woodworking, we're going to start talking to him about what they feel comfortable with. Uh, you were saying before that he's, you know, he's he's used to working on cars, stuff like that. So his comfort level is probably pretty high. Yeah, he so he'll be good with his hands. Always worked with tools, but never woodworking. So he doesn't right. have tools for that. Yeah, he'll be easy to get started. So um, he loves to give gifts. I th that'd be something I think he would do. What what kind of projects would you recommend for somebody like that? Well, gifting can go pretty easy. Uh, we can do some things like you know show him how to start out with some basic box making. Okay. Uh, he can get into doing signs for himself and his friends. Okay, with, with the router. And one of our favorites is, as you know, pen is turning. doing pens or doing turning. It's a great gift. I've done this. This is the one thing I think my father would love this because you can personalize these kind of to, to oh. somebody, right? Everything is personalized with this, yeah. So this is uh, how the pens start out. Mm -hmm. And they end up like, like this, depending on what you've chosen. Right. Uh, and what's the tool that somebody needs to be able to, to do this? Well, that's going to be the lathe. Okay. And uh, your turning project with your bowls or for pen turning or for turning handles, that's all going to be done on there. It takes a very small amount of space. So it's a, it's a, it's a set of projects, the bowls, the, the pens, that somebody can do with one tool, and that's a great way to get started in, in, in woodworking. Right. Okay. Now, if, if I send him down, are you guys going to ask him the right questions and kind of guide him through the process and send him out of here fairly equipped to start? We're going to ask him a lot of questions because we want to we want to get him hooked up with the right tool that's appropriate for what he wants to do now, and what he wants to do later on too when he gets even a little bit more confident to be able to scale up and go to the next projects right. and the next projects on from there. Yeah, yeah, I think this this is a, a great idea, especially for somebody like like my dad. So thanks, Mike. So Dad, you're headed down to Rockler soon, and anybody else if you're interested in woodworking, head on down. Also, they're going to start you out right. You can get involved in woodworking, get any of these projects and they're gonna treat you just like family down at Rockler. So head on down, you can find all their information at approvedhomebros.com slash Rockler. Be safe, be sure, be confident about the home improvement companies you work with with the Approved Home Pros Guarantee. Only Approved Home Pros guarantees you will be satisfied with your home improvement, repair, or service, or we'll step in to help make it right. If you need help, our team of experts is behind you every step of the way when you use a pro in the Approved Home Pros Network. Move forward with confidence knowing you're never in this alone. Find a pro today at ApprovedHomePros.com. It's guaranteed. Hello, my name is Sue Fries, better known as the Termite Lady from Ecola Termite Pest Management Services. And the tip of the day is bed bugs. Nobody wants them. And that old saying of good night, don't let the bed bugs bite is not funny anymore. So here's the tip. If you're going to a motel or a hotel, it does not matter. You want to make sure that you put your purse, your suitcase up off the floor and then do a little research and check inside your sheets to see if there's any little blood stains in there. If there is, that's a sure tell sign that there's a bed bug problem. We don't want you to come home with bed bugs. They're very difficult to get rid of and you cannot do it on your own. So call a professional in and hopefully it's E. cola. Thanks. Painting is a great way to transform your home and create a new feel, but it's also a great way to maintain your home. So today I'm here in historic Mission Hills with Debbie from 360 Painting, where we're talking all about really maintaining the feel of this home. Tell me the story. 
This is one of our favorite projects we've ever done. So this house, the room that we're actually standing in now, was originally built around 1875. And wow. since then, it's been added on to. And the owner has lived in this um, current home now for decades, raised a family here, and she's downsizing. So the daughter's taking it over. And the big thing they want to do is preserve the story. There's so many stories in these walls. So much history from 1870 Absolutely. and beyond. And, and you can see it as you go through the home. And they wanted colors that kind of represented just the traditionalness of the home. And we actually preserved a lot of the work. It was not a full restoration. It was really more of a preservation. So let's talk about what that means. If you're preserving kind of the work and you're refinishing, re exactly. refurbishing what's already been here, what goes into that? So for example, like the walls, um, they definitely wanted us to clean them, but they didn't want us to strip them and start over again so you see the imperfections you see some of the just the story of the home so the floors were done to match the original color of the walls and fortunately we have enough history on the home that we know the story about it which is so cool because this has actually been in their family for so many years exactly and they, they actually know the family that was here before them exactly so there's connection and they know what's going on but I like we're saying they're not starting from scratch on no. the walls they wanted to preserve the feelings of when she was a young girl living in the home and now exactly. she's going to raise her children here and exactly. grandchildren throughout the house and it's so much history being preserved. What's it feel like as 360 Painting to be part of that? See, we absolutely love this. This is actually being a part of a story. We've talked about that before. Every single person has a story and we love being able to come in here. She actually had a designer that came in and helped with the colors, but our experience with the products, there was a lot of old paint on the wall. You have to really understand how to deal with oil-based paints and some of the old finishes on wood. So that is been really fun for us to work through as well. And then of course you guys have the skills with which to do that. What Absolutely. kind of training do your team have? decades and decades of experience and you know they've worked on all different kinds of projects we have guys that have done commercial work so they're a little bit better with the production painting and we have people that have done faux finishes and custom woodwork so we have a great team of people so if you need to preserve some memories in your home or transform your home with new paint 360 painting can cover all your bases find them today on approvedhomepros.com it's another ask an expert where we answer important questions about air all areas of home improvement today I'm with Greg Cantor, our resident expert for Murray Lampert Design Build Remodel, and Scott Farrell from Black Mountain Plumbing. Today, guys, we're talking about price, and sometimes price can be a warning of a variety of different things. Greg, in your opinion, are low prices sometimes a, a red flag? Very much so, especially if it's 10 to 20 percent less than the other quotes that you get. So, um, those other quotes. How many quotes should somebody normally get for a, 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 a larger, larger kind of a job? Well, you're going to want three. Three, three quotes. Is, is I that think a, three is reasonable. It's just any more, then it's hard to keep track of what each person said and what they're going to do for you. So that way you're getting a, a variety of, of opinions and a variety of prices to choose from. I've seen people get eight, 10, 12 quotes. That's too many. Yeah, how do you keep track of that? Yeah, but you, you, that's very difficult. But, but if you have three quotes and one of them is abnormally below the others, what are some of the warning signs that go with that? What could, how could somebody be, be offering that price? What could be going on? Oh, there's, there's lots of reasons but that should be a red flag to you. If there's something really low, there's probably a problem and it's not in your best interest. Why would, why would they be offering that kind of a low price? Either use, they're using inferior materials or they're using labor that's not qualified to do the proper installation to code and everything. So they're, they're cutting, gonna cut some corners with the materials. The, the job itself won't be done the way the other companies would have done it with the, with the regular normal pricing. And also a big part of it is having insurances and coverage that the homeowner, you know, protects the homeowner and companies that are that cheap are probably cutting corners there too. Probably cutting corners everywhere. Uh, usually something that's too good to be true is too good to be true for a reason. Is there also a circumstance, Scott, where the company may be offering the low price knowing they're gonna add on things later to be able to get to a higher price? A lot of times, if it's not specified, about all the different line items and what they're going to do exactly, they're leaving you wide open for all kinds of add-ons and extras. So what are some of the signs of that? Uh, a, a vague quote or what are, what, are, what are you looking at? What should you be noticing there? Well, if they're not specifying the fixtures, if they're not specifying um, known disclosures, are they going to have to do some abatement? You know, are they, did they even write that down? The house was built in 1960. They didn't even write that down. Wait a minute, they missed that right off the bat. That's a huge sign. And another big warning sign is if somebody says, you need to sign this by July 1st to get this low price. So if the low price goes with pressure, that's another big warning sign. There. Right. So low price is very rarely legitimate if it's gonna be that much below what the normal price from reputable companies is gonna be and that you should avoid that because it's probably gonna cause you problems in the end. Exactly. Good summary. Thanks. Thanks so much for your help, guys. 
If you have questions for our experts or want to see more information on previous questions, visit ApprovedHomePros.com in our Ask an Expert section. Well, I've taken you to Ace Hardware before where there is a great selection of grills, including the Big Green Egg, which we've talked all about. But today I'm here with uh, Harry Schwartz at Hillcrest Ace Hardware talking all about the accessories that you can use to enhance your grilling experience because, Harry, it's no longer just about burgers and hot dogs on the grill. That's right. There are so many different things you can do on the grill these days from baking to braising to smoking etc but really the key is to have the right accessories and i can see this giant wall of beautiful products behind us what should we dig into today right so big green egg is a great one for different accessories that you can use on their komoda style grills um, you can do everything from pizza we have pizza stones now um, along with the pizza peelers to take yeah. them off the grill and pizza cutters etc so you can make pizza right on your grill, which is a great one. That has um, such a good flavor. It does, absolutely. And uh, what's become real popular is stir fry and walking on the grill. So you can do vegetables, you can do chicken and beef, uh, just like you would do inside your kitchen. You can now do them out on your grill. And enjoy the outside weather while you're doing exactly. so. Exactly, and it's summertime, so that's a great time to be doing that. Um, the Big Green Egg is so versatile, you can even use a Dutch oven um, to cook your stews and vegetables and other things that you would make, maybe even an apple cobbler. Never would have thought of that. It just, it doesn't seem to go, but the, everything here is purposely designed for the Big Green Egg. It is made exactly. to work together. That's exactly right. So a great lineup of, uh, a lineup of accessories and great grills to go with it. All right, thank you so much, Harry. Come to Hillcrest Ace Hardware and get your selection of Big Green Egg accessories and get creative with your grill today. Hi, this is Bill Cohn from Mr. Handyman, and my quick tip of the day is uh, changing the batteries on your smoke detector. Most people change batteries twice a year, but you always have to remember whether you did that or not. Stores now sell 10-year lithium batteries, which means the batteries will last just about the lifetime, and you'll never have to worry about changing your batteries again. Thank you. Have you ever been in a rush to leave the house and suddenly your garage door won't open? Jared from Empire Garage Doors and Gates is here today to talk about battery backup. So thanks for sharing this information. Unfortunately, it actually is a law that's been passed that starts out of tragedy. Why don't you tell me about that? So in 2017, the wildfires that devastated Northern California uh, prompted uh, the state of California to implement a new law with uh, garage doors. There had been several tragedies where uh, homeowners weren't able to exit their garages during the wildfires because they had no power and they were unable to actually unlatch the garage door by the manual release. So California has made it uh, mandatory that all new garage door openers and uh, garage doors have a battery backup system implemented. So it's really gonna be a safety issue. We have an example here on the table. Obviously it's not plugged into a door, so we won't see a door go up or down, but can you kind of point out where the battery is and how it's gonna be working? Absolutely. So you notice it's not plugged in. This is the battery that is featured and it's, it's really nice. It pushes inside here and you can, uh, it covers up with the cover plate. But as you notice, you hit the uh, wall control, the operator is running, and you have all the safety features, minus the lights uh, that will open and close the garage door and allow them to exit the, uh, the property. Of course, without any electricity, so if the wildfires ever happen again, or any other instance where you may be stuck in the garage, this is a safety feature you're gonna be able to get out without any kind of manual exertion to have to open that door yourself. Absolutely. So what can Empire Garage help us with? You can do these replacements or repairs? Absolutely. So. If a garage door is replaced in the state of California, uh, the motor has to be compliant. Uh, so it basically has to have the battery backup built into it. But uh, Empire also can come out and repair your existing garage door opener. Uh, it doesn't have to have battery backup, but it does uh, need to be able to function properly. Of course, we always want it to function properly. And if it is time to upgrade or you're worried about not having a battery backup feature, you guys can come in and do that upgrade to, to make us compliant. And then of course we can choose to live with our existing garage door if that's the case as well, right? Absolutely. So then when you're ready to upgrade, you wanna give Empire a call. Make sure you never get stuck in the garage again by using a battery backup for your garage door. Call Empire today at 619-354-1480 or you can find them at approvedhomepros.com. Don't trust your home improvement decisions to unverified consumer reviews on other sites. Approved Home Pros offers you free and easy access to expert reviews of San Diego's best home improvement professionals. Our in-depth screening, research, and reviews are conducted by experienced and trusted experts who are members of the local community with knowledge of local codes and common issues. 
find San Diego pros and expert tips, advice, and answers on ApprovedHomePros.com. Summer is officially underway, which means it's vacation season. Do you know how to protect your home from floods when you're away? To find out how to make sure you don't come back to a problem, I have Scott Farrow from Black Mountain Plumbing with me. Now, Scott, vacation season is a time that people do come back to floods. Is that a common occurrence? Oh yeah, they come back and their house is completely wiped out. It, does they tends to be do they tend to be more damaging um, floods because they go on for a long time and, and they don't get uh, taken care of right away? Yeah, absolutely. You're going to be out of your house for months. Right. What are the most common causes of those kind of floods? Well, it's either a pressurized water leak in the house or a sewer that backed up and just wipes it out. So a pressurized water leak, what does that mean? A uh, pinhole, a solder joint leak, uh, a hot slab, a uh, quest leak, anything that's pressurized potable water, if it's leaking in your house um, and continuing to leak, it's just going to continue to flood until somebody turns the water off. So some area where things are joined together or just there's, there's a failure in the, in the, in the material itself? All, all kinds of variables. Uh, the other um, kind you said is uh, uh, a running toilet. What is that? How does that how does Oh, that yes. Uh, quite often somebody will be in a hurry and they leave and flush the toilet. And that was a toilet that had a little bit of a leak to it, a little bit of a running toilet, a, uh, a ghost flush, and mm -hmm. they knew the tank was leaking into the bowl, but they flushed it, it got clogged, walked out of the house, now the tank's still running into the bowl that won't, won't flush. The water has no place to go, but overflows. overflows until and they come home. And it can overflow for days. For days. So what's your recommendation to people when they're going on vacation? What should they do to avoid these problems? If you can isolate the pressurized water system that is feeding just your house, not your irrigation, turn it off. So th is that the water at the street? No. Um, no. It's typically going to be at the house. And some homes, if you shut off the house, it shuts off your irrigation also. So just verify the valve you shut off, see if your sprinklers still work. If they do, that's perfect. If not, do something different. So we're looking at a picture now of what that generally looks like. But they're all, not all homes look exactly like this, but it's, it's a fairly common look. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh, and if you turn that off, that's going to alleviate pretty much any problem you can possibly have. Uh, real quickly, are, there's also technology that's available that can warn you if there's a leak and your smartphone can be notified, you can turn the water off remotely. Oh yeah, there's all kinds of systems nowadays and some of them work quite well. That's great and I know you offer some of those. If you have a plumbing emergency or any plumbing need, trust your home to Black Mountain Plumbing. Find them and the other top pros at ApprovedHomePros.com. As with any major home purchase or big purchase that you're going to make, having the warranty and knowing what it means is crucial. So today I'm here with Tyler from BVI Solar because warranties are exceptionally important when it comes to going solar. And you told me there's three facets we need to pay attention to when it comes to our solar warranty. What are those? Yes, so there are three fact factors in every warranty. Uh, the first one is equipment, the second one is installation workmanship, and the third one is roof penetrations. So equipment is pretty standard. Uh, if you're getting a top tier equipment product, you're going to get a really good warranty. But those equipment warranties are only as valuable as the installation workmanship, because if they're not installed properly, that manufacturer warranty is voided. So when it comes to comparing our, our solar company A to company B, yeah. when it's the same equipment, we can consider that kind of apples to apples, and then it really comes down to the installation, and that's a totally different warranty. Exactly, exactly. So in that scenario of a company A versus company B, you have all those three warranties coming into play. So company A might have a longer installation workmanship warranty than company B, same with the roof penetration warranty. Now, in the end, those installation and roof penetration warranties are dictated by the viability of that company staying in business. If either of those contractors go out of business and they don't have some sort of insurance policy or a backstop by a major manufacturer, uh, such as Certainty or someone of that uh, uh, caliber, which BVI has, which we do have, um, then that homeowner could be left high and dry in, on those two warranties. Which is absolutely not where we want to see our viewers end up at all. So let's dig into what roof penetration is because I'm thinking just holes in the roof and that means leaks and that means big problems for me as a homeowner. Exactly. So any standard five kilowatt solar system will have anywhere from 40 to 60 holes in their roof. And wow. that doesn't even include if we have to put conduit through your roof or drop through the eave or any of those aspects. Um, likewise, you're also going to have guys stepping on your roof, maybe breaking tiles, that sort of thing. So it's really important that your roof is secure 
secured from that contractor. Um, so when you are going ahead and doing a proper installation, uh, you're going to have to flash that uh, flashing is what it's called. Okay. Um, and so when you just drill it into the rafter, you're going to want to seal it with uh, some roof caulking or geocell, and then you're going to want to put some roofing paper over it to make sure that it's, it's nice and tight in there. Now that does change based on the type of roof you have. Uh, the process I just described is more for a tile roof, which is this house right here. If you're doing a comp shingle roof, which is pretty standard, there's a different process. But in the end, if it's not done right, you are going to have leaks. And that's where you as a homeowner are going to experience a lot more issues down the road, such as mold or damage from your interior, like such as drywall damage or having to get repainted. And sometimes I've seen leaks cost upwards of $20,000 worth of damage. Wow. So let's talk a little bit about what BVI's actual warranties are. Yeah, so BVI offers a 25-year bumper to bumper warranty that covers your installation workmanship, the roof penetrations, and the equipment. And what that means is that if anything happens to your system within 25 years, it is covered in, in full. Likewise, we're backstopped by certain a century old company. So if anything does happen to BVI, such as we retire in 10 years, you still as a homeowner have that warranty coverage from certainty for the entire term. I've got a feeling that's not going to happen. So there's no reason to be scared out of going solar. It's just important to understand the warranties that are being offered to you when you're looking at your solar bids. You can find a quality company with the best warranty in the business when it comes to BVI solar. Find them quickly and easily on ApprovedHomePros.com. In new construction and remodeling, LED lighting has been the replacement for old-fashioned incandescent fixtures for a long time. Not only do LEDs meet Title 24 energy requirements, they last up to 20 years with no maintenance necessary and they emit much less heat, making your home cooler in the summertime. Recent studies have posed concerns that LED lighting can cause eye damage and even disrupt circadian rhythms which affect sleep. There are so many good reasons to use LED because of energy savings, the superior light quality and lifespan, but is it safe in your home? The answer is yes. Just make sure you follow this advice. Kelvins are the measurement of color in LEDs. I recommend LEDs that are 3,000 kelvins or less, which is comparable to standard halogen or incandescent lights. At this safe range, you can choose soft white or warm white colors and avoid blue where there may be potential health risks. Only Approved Home Pros gives you the expert advantage you need when navigating the world of home improvement. Our network is a team of the most trusted and highly respected local home improvement experts. Expert reviews, advice, and answers have given thousands of homeowners like you the confidence that comes from having a team of professionals behind you. Like a friend in the business, we're here to protect your home and family by making it easy to find and connect with San Diego's best pros at ApprovedHomePros.com. Sean, I loved how many tangible tips I'm walking away with today on how I can actually protect my home. Absolutely, and there's one thing I wanted to bring up too that you were talking about the garage doors and the new law. Some predatory companies, because there are some unfortunately predatory garage door companies, may be going door to door and trying to convince people that because the law has changed, they have to change or upgrade um, their system, which isn't the truth. Which of course is why we didn't hear that from Empire because they are one of our experts, trusted, reputable. They've been screened and vetted. Everything of course we do here for you at Approved Home Pros to make it easy for you at home to find what you need for your home. Yeah, to bring you the very best pros. We've done the screening and vetting to make sure that the companies that we recommend you find on ApprovedHomePros.com or any of our other places, uh, that, you know, Facebook, any of the other places you can find us are the very best pros in San Diego. Absolutely, like you said, Facebook, we're on Instagram, you can find us here on ABC 10. YouTube. You can find us on YouTube, and of course, everything you're gonna find at ApprovedHomePros.com. So whatever it is you need for your home, search quickly and easily at ApprovedHomePros.com or connect with us anywhere else you can find us. Thank you for joining the Approved Home Pro Show. To connect with the show or find the very best home improvement companies in San Diego, log on to ApprovedHomePros.com or call 855-840-APRO. See you soon.